Coming into this second season, what are you guys, I guess, most excited for when it comes to Cloak and Dagger? <laughs> I mean, you I mean, sort of know. I mean, honestly. I mean, you, you have you don't have no home right now. The right. cops want you. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as you, you guys come into this new season, mm -hmm. um, you kind of don't have the mommy leash anymore a little bit. Right. That's kind of gone. So, I guess, how do we find him when he comes into this new world? Well, I mean, for Tyrone, it's pretty crazy for him because he's so used to being this person that is trying to control everything. Um, and, you know, obviously, his relationship with his parents was kind of messed up because of what happened with Billy. He, you know, they obviously didn't believe him. So his trust was, you know, kind of messed up there. But you, you, don't real, you don't really realize how much you need your parents until you're like out on your own. So for Tyrone, it's, he's kind of losing his mind in there. Like he can't see his parents, he can't see Evita. Um, he tries to see Tandy as, as much as he can, but um, it's, just, it's just something very new for Tyrone. And I, I think it, kind of helps him grow as, as a person. And, you know, with all this time by himself, he has a lot of time to work on his superpowers, too. So a lot of training that's, that's going down in the church. Okay. Some little 10-pound weights in there. Tara <laughs> <laughs> just, just, literally has just a home pounds? gym. <laughs> he has a home <laughs> gym in the church. It's a Jordan. very long process. Right, right. Just, just <laughs> like a bunch of banisters. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Well, and speaking Games. of that, what's the time difference between when we last left you and when we started up, if you get a chance to work on your powers? What's the time difference, can we say? Eight, we're about eight, eight months, months? Um, eight months later. Mm -hmm. so. The idea was to sort of try to make the show feel like the time that you haven't seen them, mm -hmm. we're going to rejoin them uh, as they go. I mean, what's so exciting about this season is, is that we really get to see them as heroes. It's it's that it's not an immediate growth. It's not as though they're you know picking up the cloak and dagger phone and answering calls, but uh, they're oh, cloak and dagger phone. What's great is is that you know it'll be an old wall phone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, <laughs> <laughs> dial. Act two will be the dial. Now well, we've we've broken um, the curse, correct? We, we know that's no longer a part of who we are anymore. We're essentially just kind of growth. Is it? Is that where we are? That's now? right. Exactly. We um, we put this. Society said one must live, one must die. These two said, forget about that. We're going to double down and both die. And then they broke the curse themselves. So now they're kind of decided to be heroes. And this season, like Jeff had said, it's about what kind of heroes are we going to be? How the heck are we going to help? And who the hell is killing all these people? And, and what's great is, is that the person who you would normally look to to be a hero and someone to be a mentor you know, a really smart cop. <laughs> yeah. Uh, named Bridget O'Reilly is sort of complicating the problem. Right. Now I have to ask, how, how fun was that scene? Because essentially, to me, when I saw it, I was like, she got her Michael Jackson thriller moment. She looked back, <laughs> and the eyes glowed. And it was <laughs> like, you know, Fun fact: Kendrick Lamar was actually playing opposite that swamp, so I like climbed out of the swamp to King Kunta. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you know that's one of the things that you know we're we're very excited for because eight months later, there's still a man who put a bullet in you out there, right? There's still some answers and some some uh, some comeuppance to come too, right? Is he out there or is, is he somewhere he? else? Is he out there? Is he somewhere else? Where'd he go? Where do we go? Oh, uh, okay. Where'd he go? Uh, so I have to ask you too, you know, first of all, you started off with just throwing stuff, but now you have some more kind of power. Like, did you plan in front of the mirror? Like, this is my new power. <laughs> this is I do everything power. in front like, of the mirror. Like, just in front of the mirror. This is, I'm going to throw here and this, and that's going to explode. Like, is that, is that how you guys look? Because yours kind of just flows off you, but you have to like kind of throw it, point to it. No, there was a lot more physicality this season. I definitely got my steps in, got some battle scars, but um, I mean, it was all worth it. A Tandy definitely has evolved on a whole new level emotionally mentally but also physically um, it's so I mean obviously like we've seen in some of the trailers already like the new sort of tricks up her sleeve there's this energy light bomb that she has sort of formed out of emotion and um, what's great about it is obviously all of this stuff comes in you know post-production but it really is just like a tennis ball on a stick and <laughs> it's like in no, the it's moment it's not it's your energy right. generating that right. that's why we hired you now you know, I guess the question is too you've been off for eight months so are you just a smelly kid in the church like what's happening to you <laughs> 
No, Taiwan is great hygiene. Yeah, yeah, exactly. it's like, oh, yeah so because you can't so, go back to school because uh, cops are still looking for you, really, right? Too. So. Well, I mean, I also know how to teleport, so I can kind of. Be oh, okay. Um, kind so of. That's a really. Cool. I kind of. I kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's all I'll say. But you know, Tyrone is definitely a neat freak. So he's the the church is everything is in order. There's frames. There's a little bed. Like. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that his hygiene is intact. There definitely will be like before and after pictures of like how Tandy left it <laughs> right. and then what yeah. Tyrone yeah. did too, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Uh, and then for, for Mayhem itself, mm -hmm. I mean, um, you know, in this world, everyone kind of has, e even the worst people in all kind of have their reasoning to it. Like there's no mm -hmm. one completely evil or completely 100%. There's always like a little bit of like justification. Like it just Mayhem kind of have that that feeling? Do you think that it's not necessarily bad, but not necessarily 100% good? Either? Yeah, I think when you're watching it, you're not going to 100% disagree with what she's doing. And that's what makes it so interesting because you kind of challenge the audience in figuring out which kind of line on the moral compass that you lie. Like, where, where is, how much is too far? What is the ripple effect that happens if you killed somebody, but maybe they were doing something that was terrible and didn't really deserve to be around, but then you have to think about it in a whole bigger capacity. So there's a lot of questions that I think as an audience member, you'll ask that I was asking reading the scripts because it, it definitely challenges what you think about the whole thing. Because she's not a villain per se, but I would say an anti-hero vigilante. Yeah, well, you know, we start this, this season, there was a lot of things that we're waiting for the answers to essentially. But last season was also kind of uh, a little slow to kind of get answers, you know, figure things out, you know, connections to be made. Is that where, where we're kind of looking as we start up into season two? Maybe a, a little slower to kind of figure out and kind no, of... No, we can't go back there anymore. I think the reason we, the reason we kind of made sure we took our time in the beginning is now the training wheels are off. So yeah. like, the minute you suck in the cop who uh, killed your brother into yeah. your cloak, yeah. you know, slow sip and tea time is kind of over. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think the, the training wheels are off. I think at the end of our first episode, these kids want, think they're going to have a nice, easy life of making the world a better place, and then we're just going to throw a whole bunch of stuff at them. Thanks. Yeah, no, I, I think that's the way to go, too. And, um, you know, one of the things that I love about the show is um, how dark it gets, too. I mean, it's... When you some people think of freeform, they don't think about some of the things you guys have pushed. I was very surprised, and I was very happy yeah, with well, it too. Listen, Jeff and Marvel have been fantastic about making sure we're true to the comic book, and the comic book was dark. And these two, you know, Tandy and Tyrone are in the Marvel universe, the patron saints of the lost children. You know, so they're the ones that go to the places and shine a light where we don't get to see it, and mm -hmm. it's kind of fun to be able to do that. And Marvel and freeform have been let us get pretty dark and crazy, and these actors have an amazing job kind of taking us there. And uh, for us, the thing that's most important is is that it's not dark for dark. Yeah. Uh, the story has to want to warrant where it's going. And even more important, that when you finish watching not just an episode, but the entire season, that there is a sense of hope. Uh, and that, you know, if our audience is, is watching, you know, Ty and Tandy offer the alternative to being, for want of a better uh, expression, you know, succumb to the dark. Like, if, if you believe in yourself and you want to be the hero, you can. Um, and what I think all three of them have done so remarkably is, as actors, is invited people into that world in a way that it's inspiring. It's not always easy, and it may not always be clean uh, in the sense of uncomplicated uh, but when you get done you're you're rooting for them and that's that's really the best part of watching the show now uh, you have your cloak so are you gonna get a white suit yourself <laughs> is that is that gonna happen you're gonna straight out just glow I guess why would we even answer that <laughs> 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 like that's giving it away. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> Let's just say that, that there there are some surprises. To yeah. Come. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm very happy with this. A fan of the comic and a fan of the show. So we look forward to this uh, two hour premiere uh, yes. and uh, lots of fun to come. So uh, let's go for season three. Pleasure. Bless. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you guys.